Tonight, Muslims and their efforts to fight violent extremism. Lauren Green reports tonight on a gathering in Washington today as Muslims discuss the jihadism often linked to their religion. It is a battle for the soul of Islam. I love my faith in Islam and wish to reclaim it from the extremists. About 20 prominent Muslims from the U.S., Canada, and Europe gathered in Washington, D.C. for the first ever summit of Muslim reformers. The aim is to push back against radicals. They say there is a problem within the House of Islam that only they can solve to bring an end to the tyranny of ISIS and all radical ideology. The group created a new declaration they will distribute to mosques throughout the country for the purpose of debating the truth of Islam. They say it is time for peaceful Muslims to take control of the narrative. We stand for universal peace, love and compassion. We reject violent jihad. We believe we must target the ideology of violent Islamist extremism. We had our own journeys for addressing the root cause of violent Islamist extremism. This meeting that we've held over the past two days has been a summit. A summit that represents the sunlight from the gathering storm of the conflict within the House of Islam. The Muslim reformers also say there's a problem of collective denial within their communities that ignores how Muslims succumb to radicalization. But they also say radicals are helped by a liberal mindset they say has failed to confront the issue. Unless we identify the problem, narrow it down, we won't be able to treat it. So we have to call it what it is, and it is violent, radical, extremist Islamism. Most agree more needs to be done on the local level. One imam in New York saying it's not enough to condemn extremist violence. Muslims need to be active agents against radical ideology. And he's suggesting mosques hire private detectives to weed out within their own houses of worship those who could be radicalized. In New York, Lauren Green, Fox News. In Milwaukee this afternoon, Muslims who gathered for prayer say they too are, in their words, disgusted by the radicalization of their faith. The Islamic Society director said his community grieves the deaths of the 14 people in San Bernardino. And he also said the Islamic Society has a duty to shield children from the influence of extremist groups. They claim that it is being done in the name of religion, but certainly they don't represent um, the religion I believe in, nor what the overwhelming um, majority of Muslims around the world believe in.